Today, I'm going to show you how to make a toilet bowl cleaner using all natural ingredients, including some alcohol and, of course, some elbow grease. My name is Karen Williams. As a professional aromatherapist, I love to create amazing blends that inspire and promote a healthier lifestyle. I've been making my own homemade soaps for over 25 years. I got my start many years ago as a registered nurse working in the hospital system. This recipe is amazing because it's so cleansing and simple. We're not just masking the air, we're improving it. But along the way, I knew something was missing. I wanted to help people more holistically. So what you're seeing today is really a culmination of all the research that I've done. Then I discovered essential oils and my approach to life changed forever. And you'll feel that calm, but yet energetic focus that you're looking for. Now I've made it my mission to share what I've learned about aromatherapy with my friends, family, and the world. If you have smaller children, just simply leave out the Ravensara or put it on yourself as you're holding your small one and they'll get the benefit as well. Because life is so much better with health, happiness, and community. Let's start blending. Certain essential oils have fantastic antimicrobial properties, including antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. There's a component called limonene that we find in the citruses that is so great for cleaning, as well as for cutting grease. And then in our tea tree, we have a component called terpenine for all that is really great for getting rid of those microbes. So depending on which essential oil it is, they have antimicrobial properties that make them ideal for cleaning. There are a lot of reasons why I might make my own green cleaning products. Number one, when I buy them out of the store, I'm paying for a lot of water. So I find a great cost savings when I make my own products. Also, when I make my own products, I'm not finding the preservatives, I'm not finding other toxic ingredients like perhaps bleach even in my cleaning products. And by utilizing expired or almost expired essential oils, I'm being sustainable minded. And I'm also saving money because I don't have to throw out my essential oils. I can use them in my cleaning products. The ingredients in this blend are so easy. We're using tea tree essential oil, lemon and sweet orange essential oil. We're also using some high proof alcohol for instance, 150 to 190 proof alcohol. I have a two ounce spray bottle, my Castile soap, and some water. So let's go ahead and make the recipe. We'll take the top off, the sprayer off, for a two ounce bottle. And I'm going to start by adding one quarter of the bottle with our alcohol. What I love about cleaning products is you don't have to be precise. We'll put that back on. And next, we'll be adding 10 drops of each of our oils. We'll start with our tea tree. Tea tree is known for being antimicrobial. Now, the alcohol is going to help solubilize our essential oils as well as preserve our spray blend. Our next oil is lemon. Mm. Lemon is like a fresh orchard that you're bringing into your home. A fresh citrus grove. 10 drops. And if you get an extra few drops, since it's a cleaning spray, you don't even need to worry about that. Lemon is really great at cutting grease as well. Last, 10 drops of our sweet orange. Here we go. You can kind of see the essential oils right in the bottle. If these were heavier oils, I might let this set for 30 minutes to one hour. But these are quite light oils and they solubilize right away. Next, we're going to add one quarter of Castile soap. We're about at the halfway mark. And the rest of our bottle will be filling with water. 
and there we have a beautiful spray. Every time I go to use this spray, I'll give it a little shake, like that. In cleaning products, it's really easy to make substitutions. For instance, if you don't have tea tree on your shelf, you might try lemongrass. If you don't have lemon or sweet orange, I might try another citrus. For instance, like lime is a really good cleaner, or perhaps blood orange, or whatever citrus you might have on your shelf. If you don't have any alcohol, which also contributes to the cleaning power, you can put in a little bit of vinegar as well. Now vinegar doesn't preserve or disperse the oils like our alcohol does, but it still works really well. And now, let's go try it out. When I use this spray on the toilet, I'll spray it on all of the surfaces, including inside the toilet bowl. I'll go away for maybe five minutes, and then I'll come back, use my toilet bowl scrubber and a nice clean cloth to clean off the rest of the surfaces. I'll also use this spray on any surface in the bathroom, such as the doorknob or the sink handles and the toilet handle. Make sure you spray that because it's so good at reducing microbes. There's a few tips I'd like to remind you of. First of all, when using your natural green sprays with essential oils, be sure and wear gloves. And when cleaning your bathroom, this is an old nursing trick, is to start with the least contaminated area and move on to the more contaminated areas. For instance, I like to do the doorknobs first, maybe the sink handles first, then I move over to the toilet starting at the top and working down. If you want to make this recipe, I've included a link down below that goes right to the recipe, as well as an extra recipe for a bathroom scrub. If you're as excited as I am about natural cleaning, I have great news for you. I have a course called The Natural Living Course that goes into all kinds of green natural cleaning as well as other ways to support yourself with natural aromatherapy. And you'll find more information in the description below. Every month we do a featured recipe. If you'd like to join us, be sure and subscribe below. And we'll see you next time.